Hello everyone, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial here on psdbot.com YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'll show you the method that I used to create this magic lightning effect in Photoshop. I have the full tutorial down below. Uh, you can just click on that, on that link and you can have a look at the full tutorial. But in this uh, video tutorial, I'll just be showing you the, the parts where I create this lightning effect. Alright, let's get started. So let's just go to this uh, layered PSD file here. So as you can see, we have a uh, background and a model in the center. So the next thing I wanted to do is to add the lightning effect into both the left and right hand side of the model. So to do this, uh, we create a new layer just on top. And uh, we have a lightning image here. So I wanted to make a selection of any part of this portion of the lightning. So let's grab the lasso tool, set the feather to 30 pixel. So this will ensure that we have a soft edge. So let's just grab this part of the lightning here. Press Ctrl plus C to copy that selection. Go back to our image and just paste that selection over to our canvas. We wanted to resize that lightning a little bit. Also rotate. Uh, and uh, if you right click, you will see there's a distort option here. You can apply that to the lightning a little bit, so I'll just make that uh, adjust the angle a little bit like that. Okay, so the next thing we can do is to apply the black and white adjustment layer. So going to image adjustment, going to black and white here. Click on the auto uh, button here, so that automatically adjusts all the settings here. Press OK. And uh, we can then ap apply the levels adjustment. So go to image adjustment and levels. Now we wanted to make that image black color as so. Yeah, that's about about right. Okay, so we can then change blending mode to screen, and as you can see, we don't we sort of um, all the black area disappeared okay and we will want to create another new layer on top and grab the brush tool with a soft brush tip increase the size to about 80 and uh, we wanted to just paint a little white light on the palm area again we wanted to distort that slightly so that fits the shape of the lightning. Okay, we can merge these two layers into one. So just select these two layers. Uh, hold down your control key, you can select multiple layers. Uh, right click and go to merge layers. Once again, we wanted to change that to change the blending mode to screen. Make several duplicates. Uh, make sure you adjust the duplicated layer. And uh, can use the eraser tool to get rid of the area that you don't really want. That's about right. Um, we want to do the same thing to the left hand side as well. So let's just go back to to this uh, lightning image here 
and uh, we can make another selection here once again we copy that selection and uh, we'll paste that onto the left hand side again we can repeat the previous steps so firstly we wanted to apply the black and white adjustment just press the auto button press OK and uh, we wanted to use the levels adjustment again so as you can see in here we have a lot of uh, black portion here which is what we want so change the layer blending mode to screen and once again we can paint a little bit light so over the, the palm area once again we can merge the layer and change that to screen and use the eraser tool to just to get rid of the unnecessary parts we can apply some this tool uh, transformation here as well so gonna fine-tune this area a little bit with the eraser tool yeah that's uh, that's basically it uh, fairly simple it's all about uh, image adjustment and uh, um, the clever use of uh, layer blending mode as you can see this is my final image here so I added some more lightning effect down in here uh, using the same process and also I adjusted some of the the shapes of the lightning on the left here as well all right that's it for this tutorial I hope you learned a thing or two from this video once again if you wanted to check out the full tutorial just click on the link below and uh, I'll see you next time